What's up outsiders? Blisters can ruin any hike and the best treatment is prevention. I'm going to show you how to prevent blisters using this amazing product and how I store it in my first aid kit. I'm Mike and this is Outside Chronicles. I love everything outside and if you do too you're going to want to click that subscribe button and hit that bell so you don't miss any future videos. And if you find value in this video be sure to click that like button. I just got back from a winter hike in the high peaks and I'm actually leaving tomorrow to do a couple more high peaks so I'm going to be putting on a lot of miles with snowshoes and crampons on and I needed to refresh my supply of Luco tape. And if you've never heard of Luco tape before, it's probably the best product to prevent and treat blisters. So when you're looking for Luco tape, you're going to want to look for the P version, not the K version. This is the non-stretchy version. This is what makes it unique from KT tape or rock tape. It's not marketed for a blister solution. It's used more for physiotherapy to immobilize a joint. Think of it as something that you would wrap an ankle in if after a sprain. A lot of people will use duct tape when they develop a hot spot, but Luco tape is way better. It's porous and breathable and it's super sticky. Uh, you can put it on and then get it wet and it'll still stay st uh, stuck to your skin. You can shower in it and use it over multiple days, but it's also pretty easy to actually peel off your skin when you want to remove it. So you can find Luco tape on Amazon. The smallest you can buy it is in a one and a half inch by 15 yard roll for about $8. And it, it's a little bit bulky, so you don't necessarily want to carry this on the trail. What some people do is they'll rip off a length and roll it into a smaller roll but this can actually compromise the adhesive. What I like to do is cut it down into smaller strips like this. And what I use is either like old inkjet label paper or uh, stamps after you've used the stamps, the paper that the stamps are adhered to, or even better yet is I have Trout Unlimited and Ducks Unlimited send me all of these return labels. And when they're done, I have the waxy paper that I can use for Luco tape. So once you have your blank label paper, you're gonna grab your Luco tape, kind of measure it out here. Make sure you have a good scissors, cut off that strip. And then you're gonna just adhere it to that label paper. And you can see I have one length on there. I can probably get an, at least one more length on there. So we'll go ahead and do that. Lay it flat. So now I have two lengths of Luco tape on there. Then what I'll do is I'll just cut these in half. And you can leave them like that, fold them, and put that right in your first aid kit. Now these will last about a year. The adhesive will uh, dry out over time so I usually replace these maybe once a year just to make sure that they're you know 100% adhesive. So when you're on the trail and you develop a hot spot or a blister just take out your strip of Luco tape, pull out a Swiss Army knife with some scissors on it and what I like to do is depending on what size you actually need the strip just cut it off so now I've got a little smaller strip that I can put on my hot spot. And then what I'll also do is I'll just round out the corners on all of it before I even undo the adhesive from the label paper. So now I have a small patch like that. And what this will do is the rounded corners act kind of like your uh, inflatable raft or inflatable toy patches the corners will stay down better when it adheres to your skin. So once you have your rounded patch, you can just peel it right off of the paper and stick it on your hot spot. You're gonna wanna like kind of rub it in and make sure it's nice and smooth. And that will help a hot spot or a blister and you can see it peels off pretty good even though I got some hair on my hand here. It peels off really easy, but you'd be surprised that that patch will last like a week even if you take a shower. So if you 
constantly get blisters in the same place with a particular type of shoe, you can pre-tape that area. If you start developing a hot spot on the trail, put that Luco tape on immediately and it'll prevent your blister. And if you get a blister, you can use Luco tape over the top of it, but you're gonna wanna be really, really careful when you pull that off because this stuff is really sticky and you might pull some skin with you. So that could be a little bit painful. So just be careful if you put it over the top of an existing blister. So I hope you found some value in this video. If you did, click that like button. If you wanna see other outdoor adventures, how-tos, gear reviews, be sure to click that subscribe button. That's it for now. I'll see you guys outside.